Hi guys, so if you're watching this YouTube video, it's very likely that you've come from my TikTok. My TikTok is where I recommended these three drinks, which are an alternative to alcohol. I've been drinking them myself since I quit alcohol and I really, really like them. And I recommended the company in a TikTok video and it's gone viral and I'm getting lots and lots of questions about what do they taste like, what do they make you feel like, how are they different. So I'm doing this YouTube video today on my personal per perception on what they taste like, how they make me feel and my personal experience with them. The company, if you have any questions, is being really good at answering the comments on, on my video. They're super responsive, so if you want to ask them anything that I don't cover in this one, then go ahead. Um, they are alcohol free, but the company has actually, they've just told me that it has 0.5% alcohol in there, which is the same as if you was to eat ripe fruit. So it's not very much at all. But I think it was important for me to say that because somebody commented on the video and said about them being allergic to alcohol. So I think that's important. But you can go on the website and they list all of the ingredients on there. So you can go, ha go and have a look and double check. Also, you'll have to excuse me in this video because I'm not... A professional YouTuber. I've never done a YouTube video before. I'm purely doing this because I, I couldn't answer all of the questions in 60 seconds. And this is the fourth or the fifth attempt I've had to do. You can hear my dog whinging now. I'm not starting the video again because <laughs> I've had to restart it. When the postman knocked and left the parcel and my dog started barking, I keep messing up my words on all of the videos. And then my washing machine decided to start making a really, really loud noise. So, yes. I'm, I'm just going to crack on. I'm going to pull these drinks out. I'm going to show you what they look like. All the bottles are already, already opened because I do drink them myself. I genuinely do drink these. Like, when I put that TikTok out. Just because I hear people saying, especially whilst I'm on my own alcohol-free journey... Oh, I'd love to just be able to take a bottle of, you know, something alcohol free to, you know, my friends when they're all drinking alcohol and that. And I don't, I don't feel so out of place. That can maybe give me, you know, a little bit of that, that feeling. I mean, these don't get you drunk, but they have very powerful herbs in them. So they all have different effects. And the one that I spoke of in my video mainly was this one, the Livener. I've, I said to everybody don't drink it before you go to sleep because you will be wired and you won't be able to sleep and I've just found out why it's because it has a very high natural caffeine content so that is why when I drank this before bed I couldn't sleep <laughs> it's no wonder so I'm gonna show you this one first I've already poured some in here but then I had to pour it back out because the postman knocked and I have to get my door So, turn it that way. This is the livener. So I think the three of them, this is the one that you can, you will drink and it will, yeah, natural high co caffeine content. So it will definitely wake you up. Yes, don't do the mistake that I made and drink it before you go to sleep because you will not sleep. Very silly idea that I did. Now the company tells me that you, they recommend you start off with 50 mil measures, 50 mil measures over ice and try it. And you're not supposed to have more than three of these drinks in one hour. I'm not going to lie. I pour mine in this champagne glass and I fill it to the top, which is, it's more than 50 mil. But don't do that. The company don't recommend that you do that. Anyway. Let, let me tell you the taste. Now, the, the best way to describe this, I guess, is like sweet chilli. A strong sweet chilli. That is the best way for me to describe this one. And it's a, a dark red colour. 
as you can see. Yeah, very, very tangy that one. And spicy as well. Some people I have read in the reviews before I bought it myself drink it with tonic water. So they'll put a 50ml measure in and then put tonic water in it. I've drank it like that and I do actually like it like that. But I'll be honest, I prefer the really, really strong taste. I prefer it to drink them neat. But that is your it's a personal preference. So let me put this one in front of this live enough. So you'll be able to see <laughs> which is which. This one is my favourite. This one on the back of it, you can actually see as well, it's called the Party Starter. Sorry that that's backwards. But I have, I, I don't know how to edit this to turn it around, I am sorry. So this will wake you up, this one, and keep you awake because it has a natural high caffeine content. This one is called the Mood Booster. And this is my favourite because it makes, it, this is the one which gives you the little bit of the buzz which I would say is the closest to alcohol. It doesn't make you feel drunk. You don't lose your inhibitions or you don't like stagger around, you know, as if you've as if you've had a drink. You don't lose control at all. You're not going to want to call all your exes up. So don't worry about that. But it does make you feel chatty. And it tastes the closest to alcohol as well, this one. It tastes a bit like red wine. So there you go. It's... Can you see that? It's, all, ooh, it's also a dark red colour. Let me turn it around. Let me show you the difference. So this is the... This one here is the livener. And this one is the social one on the right. A slight difference in colour. And this one tastes the closest to red wine. I'd say it tastes sweeter than red wine, definitely. But yes, I would say this this is close to a red wine taste. Somebody said in the comments that it tastes quite vinegar vinegary. And I suppose it does, but to me it's not it's not a horrible vinegary taste at all. And red wine, actually, I think, tastes quite vine vinegary as well. But it's, not, it's definitely not a horrible taste. I really like this one. Wouldn't recommend drinking all of these three at the same time like I am as well. I'm not, I, I don't think you're supposed to do that. I'm just purely doing it for this video. And then you have this third one, which is the Dream Maker. So this is the one which you would drink at the end of the night. I think this one you're supposed to drink to get you livened up and ready. This one you drink to make you more chatty and more social. This one is the one that gives you the little bit of the buzz. And then this one relaxes you and makes you sleepy. So I drink this before bed, so you would probably drink this one when you got home and you want to wind down. Let me show you this one. I'll pour a bit more on this one so you can see the colour as well. If you see that on the camera. So this one is a light brown colour. This one I find the hardest to describe, actually. Um, it's that is sweet. It's not not as tangy as this one. This one's very spicy. 
spicy red wine -y. How would I describe this one? This one here. Hmm. Yeah, woody. Describe it wood woody. It says here it's got pure maple syrup in it. So you can definitely taste the maple syrup. And it, it does have a little bit of a kick to it. Like this first one, but not as much. It's called the Dream Maker nightcap. So yes. In short... This one, the, f the feelings that they give you. This one will wake you up and keep you awake. This one will give you a bit of a buzz and make you feel chatty. And this one will make you feel sleepy and relaxed. Yes. So that is the best way I can describe the taste and I can describe the way they make you feel. You can you can definitely feel these. Oh, the, one of the questions I get is how how much do you have to drink to be able to actually feel something from from them? And the company says you should start with fifty mils, fifty mils on ice, and you shouldn't have more than three of these in an hour. I'm not gonna lie, I drink mine at this champagne glass, and I fill it to the top this one here and when I've drunk it to me the best way to describe the mood of this one is when you haven't had a drink for a while and you have that first glass of Prosecco or that first beer and you know when you first feel it hit you and you're a little bit like oh it's, it's hit me now you know and you get that little bit of a a buzz and you get a bit more chatty that's what this feels like it doesn't make your reactions slower or anything like that like alcohol does and like I said you, you stay completely in control and what I find when I drink this as well you don't tend to get more and more I don't want to use the word intoxicated because it's not alcohol but you it, it doesn't the more you drink it doesn't tend to me personally I stay on one level I stay on that happy chatty mood when I'm drinking this one this one, 100% definitely keeps you awake. If you're at a party with your friends and you're getting that tired, sluggish feeling, you want to drink some of this because it will wake you up instantly. Just don't drink it before you go to bed. Yeah, and this one, 100% makes you feel relaxed. And yeah, it does help you sleep. Definitely does help you sleep. So there you go. I've got a book here. And I've wrote down some of the questions. Yes, I've answered all of them. I told you I'm really not professional in making these videos, so please excuse me. Ah, the US site um, and the UK one, where do they sell to? They sell in the UK, the USA and the EU. So I will put their UK site down in the description. And I'll also put their USA site in the prescription. And I will also write their social medias down too. So you can message them and ask them any questions. People feel the effects differently. Ah, that was what they said. They said that they it normally takes them personally and they find a lot of people after they have had three 50 mil, 50 mil measures... They will start feeling the effects of these drinks. Now, I think my glass. Yeah, I'd say oh, I'd say that's about. I mean, this is a small champagne glass, so yeah, it's probably correct. Probably about three fifty mils. In this one. I'm trying to think back to the days when I worked in a bar. I think that is about three, fifty mil measures. So yeah, I would agree. That is when you start feeling the effects of them. Um, they have recipes on their website. They have microdosing recipes on there too. 
So, yes, um, lots of people are saying, can you drink it when you're pregnant? They have said that they're, some of the ingredients in these drinks haven't been tested enough for them to be able to recommend them to people in pregnancy. So if you're pregnant, if you also are taking SSRIs, which is antidepressants, or you are on anti-alcohol medication um, or long-term medication, then you should, they tell you that you should ask your doctor first if you can drink them. So, yes, if you're pregnant or on any medication or anything, then you should ask your doctor before you drink these. So, I hope that that answered your question. Um, there's lots of people from Canada asking, can they buy these? I don't, the company doesn't sell in Canada yet, but I think they've, they've replied to some of the comments and said that they're looking at that next. They also have stock lists on their website too. Yes, ingredients. Um, yes, so, um, I hope that answers all of your questions. I hope that gives you a little more, a little bit more insight into what these drinks are and what they do. They've certainly helped me because I used to um, drink quite a lot. And yeah, some some of the comments as well. The last one I just want to address. Some people are saying, "Oh well, aren't you just swapping one addiction for the other?" I guess this is a personal preference and a personal choice but for me the fact that I was drinking two or three bottles of wine a night and completely blacking out and that I've replaced that for these drinks which do not affect me in that way and give me a tiny little slight buzz I mean these if if, if you drink if you drink a hell of a lot like I used to these are not going to replace that that alcohol high that you've got you need to you know you learn you need to learn yourself to to you know what's the best word to use to recover yourself from that and learn other ways to to cope with without the alcohol um if you have a bit of a problem with it like i did so yeah these these are not going to replace or one addiction for the next but I can understand why people say that because you know they do they do alternate your mood and when you have an addictive personality it's very easy to get addicted quickly to other things but these are nothing like like um, alcohol where you would drink until you black out or you can't remember things these don't do that to you at all they just give you a little boost um, either make you awake chatty or sleepy so there you go hope you enjoyed this video bye